Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. It's Friday the 19th of spring year two. It's chucking it down outside. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. And the spirits are in good humour. Now, I did originally say that we were going to go fishing today. Because there's some... Oh, the animals aren't going to be happy. Um, yeah, I did originally say we were going to go fishing today. However... Um, I just had a quick look at the list and um, last rainy day we did actually go and collect all the rainy fish that we could. I remember now because we got the catfish shad and eel pretty quickly and I was really really happy with how quickly we managed to actually collect them all. So, <gasps> it's been upgraded. It's absolutely ginormous. We only have four little animals in here. Oh my goodness. So, it has an... It, it doesn't have like an incubation thing and I'm not too sure whether this affects how they reproduce because like I said before it's just a random event sometimes they'll make a baby um, but however if you look now look they automatically get fed which is just so amazing so cool okay so let's pop that in there and we will head down See the duckies. Okay. Oh! A new chick hatched. It looks odd. Okay. So we actually have some name suggestions. So thank you very much to everybody. Now I'm going to call this one Burdock. Now this was a name suggestion by OMG It's G, and she actually wanted this to be the name of the horse. But obviously I accidentally named the horse Grover and I can't change its name once it's named unfortunately so I thought to make up for that I would name a duck a name that she wanted so excuse me duckers so that is why the duck is now called the duck so thank you very much and we're going to put this in there the sock sorter let's shut them in So hopefully, I'm assuming it'll just take a week like the rest of the normal egg, and then we will have a very, very awesome dinosaur. Oh my goodness, look at all the. Let's pick them all up. So, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. It's cold here. I'm sat in a dressing gown doing this. <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, the kale's done and everything. Oh my goodness. What a harvest day. Okay, this kale's not done. This is. And the jazz is done. So cool. So we definitely need to go and get a lot of um, new plants to. Uh, I don't know why my words wouldn't come out then. We need a lot of new plants to fill in the gaps, basically. Okay, let's put the eggs in here. And then let's go and sell some of the stuff that we've got. So we want to sell those and those and those. Oh, and those. So we'll keep the blue jazz for now. Green bean, parsnip, we'll keep you. Let's grab some stuff to put on, iron preferably. So we do want to make some more sprinklers. Especially ready for fall because things like pumpkins and cranberries are going to be available and they're going to be really, really worth our while trying to grow as many as possible. I'm not going to just stick to one um, kind of like food i'm not gonna just have cranberries or anything like that i like having the variety and having things ready at different times and it means that we kind of get money throughout the season rather than like a every like i don't know five days you get a big bulk of money so we'll definitely go um so 12 days it's the 19th so how many days is it 28 days so we've got like nine days left Kale takes six, so we'll get some kale. 
20 kale and then the rest can just be parsnips. Thank you very much, sir. Kale's really good because um, from what I've seen, you do get quite a lot of m like monetary uh, payback from kale. It's quite a good crop to grow. But I like the parsnips just because um, we can use them for other things. I don't know if you can make like kale jelly and stuff. And they only take four days, so you end up with quite a lot of them. So let's hunt these. I'm not going to bother fertilising anywhere that's not fertilised because I already walked past the bin and I can't be bothered. <laughs> Basically, I walk past the chest and I'm not going back. It's terribly lazy, but my farm, my rules. <laughs> that's how it works, right? Okay, so let's um let's actually put these here. I wonder if we can make another sprinkler. So on this one, iron bar, gold bar, refined quartz. We can actually make a couple. And I know today is rainy day, but it does mean that we won't have to water stuff. Um let's so we want gold, iron, refined quartz. Wow, we can make quite a few. I think that'll be enough <laughs> for right now. Oh my goodness. So it just means that when, when autumn comes around, we can have a really big patch of lots of um, stuff, which would be really nice. So let's actually pick up you and put you there. And then, I know I haven't put, um, this is going to pick up because I haven't put a piece of path underneath it, but that's okay. Okay, then we want to do it again. So, uh, there please. There. There. And then that's perfect amount because we've got eight. And then we've got some sprinkles left ready for next season when we can go absolutely crazy and build a really nice big plot for everything. So that's really exciting. So grab all this. And I think we've got a couple more eggs. Yep. No, don't eat it. Honestly. A raw duck egg. Ugh. Can't imagine that being very nice. Go, we'll pop those in here. And we're running out of coal, that's the issue right now. How much wood have we got? Okay, quite a bit. So we'll head on down to the barn, the shed. And we'll go and put some of this on. might as well chop down a couple of trees just to supplement what we took and um, I actually have written down what we need for the for another coop for the dinosaurs now I know we wanted the bigger coop but oh 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 my goodness I'm an idiot why aren't we we've got the bigger barn so we can go and buy some animals Instead of spending 4000 on a new coop for the dinosaur, when he can stay in the one that we've got for a little while, let's go and see how much these animals cost. So we can get a sheep, which is 8000 or a pig, which is 16000 Guess we're getting a sheep. 16000 for a pig. Uh, let's... Call them. Oh no, Shammer. <laughs> oh my goodness, how expensive. Wow, we. Holy moly. That's crazy. Well, while we're here, the lady will be here, so. Go and speak to her. Hello, um. Cranberry candy. That sounds pretty cool. Pufferfish. 
poppy seeds. We do need some poppies, but hopefully we'll get some. We'll take the rare seed. Um, fish tank. Lake fish with a fish night like fish. I think we finished the speciality fish yet, so we don't need the puffer fish. Lippy. So we'll leave the puffer fish, but I like to grab the rare seeds. We are going to put those in the um, greenhouse as soon as we've got the greenhouse. Do, 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 do. come in here and see if there's anything for us we do need the um oh what's it called now it's like the feather head fern or something like that that grows in here but i'm not too sure when I'm, it's probably summer or fall everything seems to be summer and fall now that we're waiting for anyway which is kind of it, it's fine it means that you know once we get to those we can we can really kind of whiz through things, that's very exciting. I'm not too sure how long this series is going to go for, to be honest. I've not really thought about what is kind of going to be the end point. And I mean, I would like to do all of the achievements and stuff that are available, but I don't know whether that's going to be too much. Like, you know, we'll just, I don't know. Like, it's not going to end when we finish the community centre. But are we going to try and do all the achievements and then that's it? Or are we going to try and, um, you know, get as much money as we can? Keep going until we can make, like, I don't know, a million a day or something crazy like that? I just I just have no idea. And I know it said there's a train passing through Stardew Valley, but I'm not going to bother going because we never get anything anyway. There we go. Okay, so it's only 6pm. We've got so much energy. We might as well cut down some of these trees, really. And we can go on a bit of a salmon berry hunt. No, I know we went not too long ago, so... I'm not expecting too many salmon berries, because most of the uh, bushes are probably still empty, but... We can go and have a little look. And actually, while we're here, we can... Um, do the crab pots, that'd be a good idea. Now I keep selling these like lobsters and stuff and I watched someone's video and they were told to keep them because apparently you can use them in the recipes where it says you need a fish. Like they count as a fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them and we'll see if they do. Because I don't think they sell for much, and selling the actual fish that we've got, even the ones that aren't starved, is probably going to get us more money than um, these lobsters or whatever else, you know, like the um, this like periwinkles and stuff. So we'll have to see. And I think there's somebody that likes the lobsters. I think Elliot likes he either likes the lobsters or the crayfish. I think maybe the shrimp. I know there's there's somebody that likes them, so definitely something to remember and we're always running out of wood always that's why I'm just doing a quick little deforestation um, of the entire area it looks unfortunately but we need the wood and hopefully we'll soon have um, we only need 4,000 for the new coop but like I said getting the sheep was more important really right now um the the dinosaur won't actually hatch for like a week so we had like quite a while to get it done it's going to be happy where it is so it should be fine we are literally chopping down this entire forest oh my goodness okay this will be the last one there we go I wonder if we can... Can you give a gift to Hat Mouse? Hello, Hat Mouse. No. Oh, I wanted to give Hat Mouse a gift. Yeah, I thought we had the Tropiclip and the Daisy and like things like that, but... 
Maybe we didn't. Maybe I just had it on another save. I don't know. But I will I will write them down because I want to make sure we've got all of them. Hat Mouse is such a cutie. I actually started a new um, save on a wilderness farm because I've not tried that before. And uh, I'm actually wearing like a mouse t-shirt. It's so cute. <laughs> Absolutely love it. It's adorable. There we go. Back home. Good grab. The apricot. Yes, we did. And eventually, obviously, we are going to have... Oh my goodness, look at all that. We are going to have um, a few of each of the fruit trees. It's just making sure that we plant them at the right time so we get the most out of them. All the honey. Okay, so we'll sell these. And I think that's all those. All of this away. 712 now. That's pretty awesome. Got two rare seeds, which is nice. And we'll pop these in here before we go to bed. Let's just see if these can be used. Uh, that's probably because these are in here. Let's move these and put those in. And I'll pop these in here because I think it'll still take them out of our inventory if it's got a chance. And then we'll see if... Yes, we can still make them. So that's really, really awesome. So it means that we can we can definitely sell at least the silver starred ones of these that we've got. And we'll definitely keep hold of them. Making some more crab pots is something that we should probably do at some point. But that's okay. Meow. Okay, let's go to sleep for the night. Okay, so at the end of that day we have made, oh my goodness, 8,786 gold. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment and subscribe to Become a Sparkle. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!